Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday morning as usual. It is Monday morning, Monday noonish when I'm recording this, and I've got two days to work this week, the rest of today and then tomorrow, and then I'm going to be traveling until next Monday-ish. So I've got a lot to do in a very short amount of time. Uh, the last video I published was the upgrade on my bandsaw, putting the riser block on there. I got that riser block uh, as a gift from a very kind viewer of the show, and I apologize, but that whole weekend was in a crazy whirlwind, and I forgot your name. So you know who you are. Thank you very much for that. Um, I, I should have put it on there sooner, just now got around to doing so, and it's got me really itching to make a nice, big, wide, book-matched panel, and I've got the perfect project for it, which is uh, my upcoming computer desk build. Now, just like the dining table, it's completely changed design so many different times, changed complete path of how I want to make the project. My original intentions, like I previously stated, was to make a stand-up, a complete stand-up L-shaped computer desk for my main workstation and then a secondary non-computer station for me to do paperwork and stuff like that, which would also double as a uh, laptop <clears throat> excuse me, a laptop station for my wife or anybody else who was to use the space with me. That uh, just kind of flew out the window. I wanted to make that a complete plywood project with some either edge banding, iron on edge banding or solid wood edge banding and then paint the entire station white. It would look really good in the room that I use for an office, but my wife talked me out of it. She said that overall in the, the grand scheme of the house, it would look way too modern for all the furniture that we have currently. So plywood and painted white is out, which I'm kind of glad she persuaded me because I, I'm really enjoying working with hardwoods and uh, trying to step my game up a little bit. So the conclusion or, or the, the point where we're at now is not an L-shaped desk, not a complete stand-up desk, not plywood, and instead two desks, one that will be a complete stand-up station for myself, about six feet wide, something like that, uh, with integrated storage below, complete cable management. I don't want to see any cables. I don't want to have the maximized amount of work surface on top so that I can use the computer as necessary, but also have a, an area that I can do paperwork um, as needed, because that's something I don't have now, that's, and I've got papers scattered everywhere, and it's just frustrating. So that's going to be for me, and instead of having an L-shaped station all the way across, mine, mine will be on, let's see, in this, in, in this room, mine will be on that wall, and then the other station will be on this wall over there, which will be a sit-down desk, a traditional sit-down computer desk for my wife. So stand up for me, sit down for her. I've, uh, I've tried to do a stand-up desk twice twice in the past, and both times um, were failed attempts because uh, I didn't have a backup plan. You can't stand up 24-7 when you're working, especially not in like 10-hour editing sessions. So I didn't have a way to relieve the tension of standing up. The first one was uh, a station that was just thrown together really fast on a treadmill. That sucked. Props to all those people who can work on a treadmill. I can't do it, especially not when working with SketchUp or... Uh, or video editing, when you're actually walking with the treadmill. Um, I, I just can't do it, I'm just wobbling around too much and, and it's not for me. So the I, I ended up just standing on the treadmill. Well then it's just pointless just standing on a treadmill. And then the treadmill was in the way so I didn't have any air, any way to sit down to, to relieve the tension of standing for so long. So that just, that just didn't work out. I went back to my old desk and then I made another cart. It was actually a computer cart, but I made it too small, and again, didn't have any way to, to uh, didn't have any comfortable and convenient way to sit down. So that didn't work out. What I've done here is I've done a lot of planning on the front end that you guys can't really see. I took my computer desk that I have now, and I built a basically an eight-inch platform that just sat on top of my computer desk to elevate everything up higher, or I think it was nine inches, something like that, and then. Uh, I reassembled my desk on top of this so that I could stand and I wanted to adjust the height of everything uh, for about a week or so until I find something that's really comfortable for me and something that 
I know all the dimensions are accurate. I'd hate to build something out of solid wood and just find out that the whole thing is two inches too small, two inches too tall, the monitors don't, you know, jive well or whatever. So I've been using a stand-up, a, a makeshift stand-up station now for about a week, and I love it. It's it's reduced a lot of my my neck stress from sitting down and, and typing. I've got horrible posture from my would do to my old computer chair, you sit down in it and there's no back support, it automatically reclines. And if I have the option to recline, I'm going to recline. And I'm just slouch kind of person like that. So anyway, it's working out really well for me. And the cool thing about making some type of temporary mock shift station or something like this to adjust, uh, to get uh, everything worked out before you actually make the project is you can actually adjust everything. Uh, that. 9 inch platform that I made still wasn't tall enough, so I used the in feed out feed table from my planer that I previously had. Didn't build anything, it was already assembled. I just set it underneath my keyboard and mouse, and that elevated it another two or three inches. Ended up, be ended up being the perfect height, so I got that height dialed in. I ended up having to use um, uh, three or four pieces of pine plywood, three quarter inch plywood to elevate my stand that I already had the monitors on. My monitors were already elevated by like six or seven inches from the keyboard level and elevated all this. So I've been tweaking all the dimensions and I think I've got it absolutely perfect right now uh, for actually designing off of the dimensions. And then to relieve the, the tension, like I said, of constantly standing, I bought an inexpensive, um, I think it's called a drafting stool. It's, it's a roll around drafting stool. It's got uh, a height adjustment. So there's like an eight inch height adjustment swing, which is perfect. I'm right in the middle of the swing as far as a comfortable sitting height. And it has a fixed low back support, which is great because I can't naturally slouch in it, which causes neck pain and all that other junk. So I've done a lot of preparation on the front end for this. I'm ready to start designing the final iteration of it, I guess, with some hardwoods. I'm leaning towards uh, hickory, and I wanna do a nice, big, wide, 24-inch book match panel top. I wanna do all the joinery, like nice, traditional joinery. I want it to have drawers in it. I want all the drawers to be dovetailed. It's just gonna be a fun project. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Um, it's been a lot of changes leading up to it. So, uh, no timetable on it, because I've gotta do a lot of traveling upcoming. Um, this, like I said, is a short week this week, so again, I'm probably going to have a short, boring video. Um, I apologize for this. I feel like my videos have been just lacking the big projects or lacking the big substance for a little while. It's just not where I want them to be. I want to be making larger stuff. I want to be making stuff, uh, furniture, bigger items like the dining table, bigger items like the workbench. Uh, last summer I made a chest of drawers and a nice blanket chest. I want, to be, I want to get back to making the bigger stuff. But this weekend is going to be a travel weekend, so another quick video. It's probably going to be a lathe video. I've been wanting to do some lathe videos for a while, and I think I can knock those out tonight, maybe, depending on what my wife's plans are after she gets home from work. And yeah, I've, just, I've got a lot of stuff going on. My shop is absolutely trashed. My shop has never been this dirty, or I'm not gonna say dirty, it's just out of place. Everything is completely covered. Every horizontal surface in here is covered. I've been working on my truck, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. Haven't been doing woodworking and it's it's aggravating. Um, that's all I got, I'm rambling again. You guys take care, have a great week, and I will talk to you guys again on Sunday. Take care and have a good one.